when I said at the start of 2019 that I was on a book bang ban for the whole year. I have over 30 books to talk about today. <laughs> Great job, Avery. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? My name is Avery and today I have a really big book haul. Before I get started, I just want to let y'all know and preface saying sorry if you hear dog crying in this video. It is thundering outside and Katniss, my dog, does not like thunderstorms. So she's currently under my feet, which rarely ever happens unless it's thunderstorming. So if you hear some crying, she's being nervous. So anyway, books. Yes, books. I have a lot. I think there's 33 on this list in the pile in front of me. I have not been doing good with my book buying ban whatsoever. I think that's just out the window at this point. Books just make me so happy. And when I'm not in the good mood or I'm not feeling healthy or all that great, I love to buy a book. Like if I feel like if that brings me joy, I should do it anyway, even though my bank account is like screaming at me profusely. <laughs> anyway, so there's a lot of books to talk about today. I will not be going into a lot of detail of each since there is 33. So let's get started. First thing that I have to haul today isn't even a book. I have my first book sleeve I got recently from Bookbo. This isn't a sponsorship whatsoever. I freaking wish. But I just want to show y'all, I got this beautiful book sleeve to put in my purse because my books get damaged a lot in my purse. If y'all didn't know, it's like this book sleeve that you put your book into and you can put it in a bag or a purse and it won't get damaged. Like how when you have like a paperback and you shove something in your purse with the paperback, the pages might get all um, dented or the cover might get bent. Um, this protects it from happening. So I have been really loving this. I will leave a link down below to their Instagram page or their website. I'm not sure I found them through Instagram. So if y'all want to check them out, I have been loving this. So I bet y'all will as well. Okay, this book haul is put into different little groupings. First, we're going to talk about new releases that I have acquired. First, we have The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston. She is the author of Geekerella, which is a fandom inspired retelling of Cinderella. And this is a fandom inspired retelling of The Princess and the Pauper. I personally love The Princess and the Pauper because of Barbie Princess and the Pauper. I loved that movie so much as a kid. So that's the only knowledge I have on The Princess and the Pauper. And I'm really excited for this. It's just basically The Princess and the Pauper involving fandom. And it's set in the Geekerella universe. So I'm really excited for this one. Next we have Meet Cute by Helena Hunting, I believe. I believe this is about a woman who had a crush on this really big celebrity when she was younger. And then she ends up meeting him and fangirling about him. And then they actually become friends. And then he like does something to her to like hurt her. And then years later, it's them reconnecting or something like that. Or he needs her help with something. I'm not really sure. It looked really cute. I remember really loving the synopsis, but I'm not gonna reread it because I want to go into it blindly. This looks really cute though, and this cover is gorgeous. It's, it's, it's my color yellow. If you didn't know, my entire room is this color yellow, and I love it. Next we have Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I bought this book, I believe, two days ago and saw it in the bookstore and needed it immediately. I've been seeing this all over Instagram and book Twitter and People have been loving it. This is a romance book. So this is about a the son of the president of the United States. He has beef with the Prince of Wales, I'm pretty sure. Their families don't want a rivalry between the two because it puts out like bad press. So they have to like fake be friends, but then it might turn into something more than that. So it looks so, so cute. And I think I'm going to read this either during the Smutathon or the Rheumatathon. After this video, I'm going to put together my TBRs for both. So we will see. Next we have There's Something About Sweetie by Sandia Menon. I love the idea for this book. I have not read a Sandia Menon book before because it didn't really appeal to me. This one sounds super interesting. We have a fat representation in this book, which I love. So this is about a Indian American guy and Indian American girl, but the guy ends up accepting, I think his aunt or his mom or his grandma's like proposal of finding like a good Indian American girl for him to date. He ends up being paired up with or being set up with um, this girl 
who is obviously also Indian American and she is plus size and she's on the track team. She's a track superstar, which I love. And this just sounds so cute. Next we have Again But Better by Christine Riccio. I got the um, Barnes & Noble exclusive edition, which is signed. Woohoo! Um, I honestly didn't think that I was going to pick up this book. I have not read a booktuber's book before. I have a few booktuber books. I have not read them yet because I'm really afraid of um, what I'm gonna think about them. They intimidate me. So I wasn't really gonna pick up this book until like the right opportunity or it was cheaper or paperback or something along those lines because um, it wasn't really grasping my attention at the moment. It does sound really interesting but I know that I won't get to it really soon but I came across a signed copy at Barnes & Noble so I had to snatch that up for my signed collection but I really love Christine one of my favorite booktubers ever and hopefully in the future I will pick this up and love it next we have the unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren of course I pre-ordered this book I love me some Christina Lauren romance this I believe it's the book that I know the most about on this whole entire list. This is about a girl whose twin sister is getting married. She really hates the best man. But then the whole entire wedding party, everybody there ends up getting food poisoning except for our main, two main characters who end up hating each other. They are sent to the honeymoon. Like they get to go on the honeymoon to this trip. They have to pretend to be married <laughs> and they hate each other. It's a hate to love trope which I love one of my favorite 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 romance tropes so I cannot wait to get into this one I'm definitely reading this book for a smutathon next we have the bride test by Helen Huang this is the second book to the kiss quotient this is a companion book and this has autism rep in it which I love I don't know anything about this book at all except I think the guy main character is the cousin to the guy main character in the first book so that's the only thing I know and that he has autism and his mom ordered him a mail order bride from Taiwan. Pretty sure. Looks really cute. Hope to read it in the next month. Next is This Is Not A Love Scene by S.C. Miguel. This is a romance book dealing with disability rep, which I love because I have a disability. So I love reading books that have disability rep in them because there needs to be more out there in the world. Um, this is about a main character girl who is in a wheelchair and she has a dream of being a film or movie director and she ends up falling for this big hunky guy who's like the star of her short film that she's making but she doesn't think that he could ever like her because she's in a wheelchair even though he might actually like her and this looks so 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 cute and actually really short and I think I could fly through this so Hopefully this will be one of my next reads. The last book in this grouping for books that were released in the last three months that I have bought, we have Crossbreed by Laura Lee. I know nothing about this book except it is a paranormal romance book that is a part of a series that I read last year. I read Elizabeth's Wolf last year and really enjoyed it and this is about their daughter. I don't know anything except for that. <laughs> the next four books are four books that I decided to purchase off of thrift books for really cheap. I unboxed all of these in my Scalabogathon reading vlog that I will link down below. First we have Unbroken 13 Short Stories Starring Disabled Teens written by an anthology of authors and I'm really excited for this. I've already read the first um, story. I'm currently reading it. This is a book all about disabled teens which I absolutely love being disabled myself. Next we have Night of Cake and Puppets by Lainey Taylor with illustrations by Jim DiBartolo who is actually Lainey Taylor's husband which I think is so 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 cute. This is the novella book number 2.5 in the Daughter of Smoke and One trilogy so I have one more book to read. I really love this. I'll be talking about it in my May wrap up. Next we have The Winter King by C.L. Wilson. This is a fantasy romance book that I read a couple years ago and just fell in love with it dealing with magic and mages and princes and princesses royalty romance I really really enjoyed it and the audiobook was fantastic so I decided to purchase a physical copy for really cheap off of thrift books and lastly in this grouping we have The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang this is a graphic novel dealing with a prince who loves to dress up as a princess in his spare time I read this book 
around a month ago and really enjoyed it. Borrowed it from the library, so I decided to purchase my own copy for really cheap off thrift books. The next three books are from the library that was on their like giveaway free section. I got two new versions of Jane Eyre because Jane Eyre is my favorite book and why not collect more Jane Eyre books. We have this edition and we have the Barnes Noble Classics edition. And the last book that I got at the library for free was Forever by Maggie Stiefvater. This is the third and final book to the Shiver Trilogy. I really love the Shiver Trilogy. I originally listened to them, I believe, back in middle school, like sixth grade, and really, really, really loved them. But I ended up not actually getting the third and final one. I only had the physical copies of the first two. They're up there. Um, so I saw this and I was like, this is perfect to complete my collection of the series. A book that I bought recently is actually my new copy of the Bible. My Bible was getting a little ratchet and old and I got this really cool coloring Bible that I love. I really wanted one of those. Um, I've already started coloring some of it and I have been loving this. My Bible that I had previously I've had for like eight years. So I think I was due for a new one and I'm really really loving this new version. So the next two books are books that were sent to me by the publisher. First we have Jake's Redemption by Jamie Schultz. This is I believe a paranormal romance book that looks super interesting. This was kindly sent to me by the publisher so thank y'all so 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 much. This book I believe is about a guy named Jake. I don't know if they're humans or not. It doesn't say on the back if it's like futuristic earth or if they're men or women or humans or aliens. I don't know. Um, it doesn't really say on the back but this is about a guy <laughs> named Jake who is imprisoned and he ends up falling for his captor or the person who is tasked to guard him, I'm pretty sure. I believe it's them falling for each other. I believe that's what it's about. Um, if you want to know the full entire summary, I actually read the whole entire back of the book in my Scallywagathon reading vlog when I was sent this book. So be sure to go check out that video that is linked down below. I am super, super excited to read this. Um, it sounds really interesting because I am totally up for a paranormal romance book at the moment. Um, I've been reading a lot of sci-fi romance books, so I feel like I'm in a really big mood to read this one. Um, and hopefully I will get to it next month either in the Smutathon or the Romanceathon. The last book sent me by a publisher was actually a book I won in a giveaway on Goodreads, and that is Starcrossed by Minnie Dark. I believe this is a romance book all centered around zodiac signs which I think is so cute I've never heard about something like that before so this seems really cute I'm so glad that I won it in a giveaway I normally just enter in giveaways for fun in my spare time not thinking that I will win I won like three so if you ever want to win an arc of something or just win a book go on Goodreads and enter in a bunch of giveaways because it's happened to me like three times so the next group of books were actually gifted to me by my grandma she was getting rid of some books, so she decided to just give some to me that she didn't want anymore. I don't know anything about any of these books. I will not be going into a summary because I don't know anything about any of them. I remember she's she told me the summary of them when she gave them to me, but it's been a while and I forgot that I don't have time to read the summary to y'all. This video is going to be very long, so I'd rather keep this short and sweet. The first book is Uncle Tom's Cabin by H.B. Stowe, I believe that's how you pronounce their name. This was a classic book that my grandma gave to me because it was actually her like great great grandfather's I believe. It's been passed down I guess and it's real old so I'm gonna treasure this for forever for sure. Next we have Safe Harbor by Danielle Steele. Um, The Good Earth by Pearl S. Buck. Delta Wedding by Eudora Welty. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name. And lastly, Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. I've heard a lot of controversy about this book. <laughs> so I don't know when I'm going to get to this one. So this last group of books that I have to talk about are books that I bought because I purely just wanted them. <laughs> These aren't any new releases or anything. They're just backlist books that I stumbled across that I really wanted. First we have... Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. This book was recommended to me by my best friend Katie. So thank you, Katie. I have been hearing her rave about this book for so, so, so long. And 
I finally decided to pick it up. It's a big chunker, but I think it's gonna be totally worth it. This is a Christian fiction romance book, and I am so excited because I've never read one before. This is about, I believe, a man who is very devoted to his faith, and God tasks him with the task to marry a prostitute and help her um, come into her own faith, which sounds really, really interesting to me. And I didn't know this was historical romance either, like set in, I believe, the 1800s? Yes, 1850. Um, so that's like another plus because I love historical romance books. Katie freaking loves this book, so I cannot wait to get into it as well. Next we have All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. Yes, I finally purchased my own copy. I have not read it yet though. I plan to read it during the buzzword-a-thon because it has you in the title. I actually saw on Colleen Hoover's Instagram that she was selling some signed copies on her website, so I went in and bought my own, you best believe. So I got it signed and personalized by Colleen Hoover, which is my first ever personalized book with my name in it, which um, is really, really cool. I have yet to meet an author and have her, them personally, personally personalize it, but that's going to change in July because I'm going to be meeting Bridget Kemmerer. I'm so excited. But anyway, I purchased this book because it is one of Colleen Hoover's books that I have not read yet. I believe this is about a married couple going through some struggles in their relationship. I love anything Colleen Hoover, so I cannot wait to dive into this one. Next we have A Dark Lover by J.R. Ward. This is my current read. I am almost halfway through it. This is a very well-beloved vampire romance book. A bunch of people love the series. It's still going on to this day. There's like, I believe like 20 something books out maybe or like high in the teens and so I'm really enjoying it. I might need to refresh her a little bit because it's been a little while since I've read this because I put it down to read a couple of other things but I'm still interested in it. I just want to know what all the buzz is about. So next is the Ones Who Got Away by Ronnie Lauren. This is a romance book dealing with a school shooting. These two people were in a relationship back in high school that was secret, a secret relationship, and then there happened to be a school shooting and it made them drift apart. And this book, I believe, takes place 12 years after that shooting during a reunion and then coming back together. I really enjoyed it. I read it last month. So if you want to know my in-depth thoughts about it, be sure to check out my April wrap-up. Next, I got, you can't really tell, but this is The Taming of the Shrew. I got this at like an outdoor thrift store for like three dollars and this is one book that I have not read yet of Shakespeare's and it's really tiny and really cute and like just I think well loved so I had to purchase this. Next is Wait For You by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Reading is Jay Lynn and this is my favorite book of the year so far so I had to purchase a physical copy because I originally listened to it on Libby, the audiobook service through my library. Obviously I really love this one. It's my favorite book of the year. This is about um, a girl who is trying to escape the past of her town. She's infamously known so she moves across the country to go to college. She ends up falling for the like soccer superstar of the school but she is going through a lot of stuff at the moment like it's a really hard-hitting gripping gripping book it deals with things that you never really expected there's a bunch of trigger warnings if you want to know the trigger warnings please dm me or something and next we have the next two books in the royals series trilogy um we have the second book broken prince by aaron watt and the third book, Twisted Palace by Erin Watt. I read Paper Princess earlier in the month, so I decided to pick up the rest of the series. I believe there's more books in the series, but this is like the main trilogy. And I really am hoping to read these during the Smutathon or the Romanceathon. It's about a girl who um, gets basically swept off the streets and ends up living with these really wealthy people, a dad and five sons, and all the sons flip and hate her. So she's trying to like deal with all of that. There's forbidden romance in it. It's great. It does have its problematic elements in, in it. So beware when you go into the book, but I loved it despite its problematic elements. Just saying. And lastly, in this book haul, we have Monstrous of Volume One Awakening by Majory Liu and Sana Hakenda. I'm so sorry if I butchered y'all's names. This is just a graphic novel that I've been hearing nothing but good things about. This does look really, really, really beautiful though. Um, and some of my favorite booktubers just rave about this graphic novel series. So 
I am hoping to read it in the next couple days because it's been sitting on my shelf for a while and I don't know why I haven't picked it up yet. <laughs> there you'll have it. Those are all 33 books that I hauled in the past three months. <laughs> That's a lot. I think I need to cut back a lot. Again, sorry if this video was really, 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 really long. I don't mean for it to be. <laughs> if y'all have read any of these books or if you plan to, please let me know down in the comments below so I can chat with you about them. I'd love to chat with you about them. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all soon with a new video. Bye!